Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Chiesa to check out. Uh, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'9", high medium work rates, right footed, 4 star skills with a 4 star weak foot. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Uh, player traits in game, he's got long shot, taker speed, dribbler, outside foot shot, so a couple of interesting traits to work with there. Uh, different position changes, left, mid, right wing. Okay, interesting stuff. You already have base 99 pace. Okay, so then I have to boost the finishing. This is this is actually a nicely formatted card. I like this. Uh, I don't know what to give him. I guess like a hawk, right? No, not a hawk. Oh, do you give... No, a sniper doesn't give finishing, I don't think. Because I was about to say, bro, yo, a finisher would be kind of, like, not a finisher, excuse me. A sniper would be kind of crazy for this card. Let's take a look. Do, 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 do. Okay, so explosive with a finisher. I wouldn't put it past people to give him an explosive, to be honest. To make his accelerate an explosive, I think that'd be pretty decent, to be honest with you. Sniper doesn't mess with finishing, right? I'm pretty positive it doesn't. Yeah. Because Sniper gives him a really big physical boost, as well as a shooting boost. And the other one I was thinking of was a Marksman as well. Because a Marksman would give him like a better balance in the shooting. You give him extra dribbling, and then you also give him physicality as well, right? I think Finisher might be the best one. The reason being, guys, is because usually agility and balance is like the main things to work with when it comes to dribbling. And I would probably just work with it physical as it is, but... I think what's going to be important is to kind of test them out on both. Yeah, and it's, it's an interesting one for sure. But uh, he's looking well formatted for the most part, you know, providing you those Italian Juventus links. Um, passing on the card is going to be in a good area. The four star weak foot in anyone for composure. You can't go wrong with that. What does he look like on a basic? What do they specifically boost him with? Let me see. Basic, 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 basic. Oh, they don't touch finishing on a basic. Okay, so basic. I mean, what's great about the car is that we could just try him out on a basic. Like, first off, and then kind of just go from there. You know what I mean? Okay. Coolio, Coolio. Uh, basic will be improving all of the base card stats. He has everything, to be honest. Physical, dribbling, shooting. Yeah. Okay. He's an average body type player. See, the average body type by default makes you want to improve that balance part of the card. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I want to give him the finisher just because of that. But, uh, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see what his average is like in-game. Uh, defensive stats, he has a few. And then for physical, he's got a few here and there as well. So, yeah, let me go ahead and unlock the card, and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Oh, my goodness, guys, I got my compensation. Uh, well, goalkeeper. I already have Klaus. Nuno Menge! Yes! Yes! Let's go! W, I need him. Oh, they do be pricing the four-star, four-star players up there, eh? The thing is, though, man, is that, like, if you do get these cards, like Chiesa and Foden, like, they're gonna be good, but they price them really up there, like, and they know that they are, too, but I guess it depends on, like, the far that you're getting and whatnot. Okay, so 4-1-2-1-2 is what we're gonna be using. Uh, this is the 4 one 2 and 2 from the pro player that recently won the E-Champions League thing. Um, so it'll be a perfect situation for us to kind of try out this team as it is. You're the attacking one, right? Well, there it's just you choose whichever one you want. Um, okay, so Chiesa, Driftwide, get in behind, stay central target, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch between these two roles because I want to try some finesse shots and stuff with his uh, uh, right foot and stuff too. So yeah, let's go see what he's like, guys. Important that these sides get off to a winning start. This should be a really close contest today. Wow, I put way too much power on that chip shot. He does do a, a lofted one there, but that was from a lot of power. The run was good, though. Okay, so I can tell you this right now, that I have him on a marksman. That dribbling in that situation, I already saw the average for sure.
Lukaku. Oh, that was so weird. <laughs> it's even like raised there. That was so awkward. Ah, gotta get the green on those. Oh, he's offside. I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. He is making very solid runs so far. I am liking that. Oh, not on a green. I don't hit it directly to the right side. Nice finesse shot, Bardi. Bardi on the finesse. Nice animation. Really nice animation. I'm always like super scared about those ones because I don't know if uh, I don't know if they're gonna do like a header, you know? Because there's no command specifically for that. It's either they do it or they don't in the air. What is that? <laughs> Ball gets stuck under his feet, does a side footed shot from a distance. <laughs> okay. Well, this is such a good watch. Both teams have played their part in a great game with plenty of good forward play. I'm sure we'll see more goals before the end. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. Okay, white time shot. He scores that one. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, he does the outside foot shot there. Unlucky. Nice, good timing. Keep it in. Scoop. Oh. No! Nice. Good job. Oh, I couldn't get it. Oh, man. You know, I didn't shoot right away. It's because of the manual goal key, man. You never know. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique, and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Well, visionary passing. Oh, okay, okay. He, get, he has a looped on it. He does have the loot on it for those finesse shots. And that was a very fine read. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, he's got the goal. Ah, couldn't get it off. Unlucky. See, like he's actually making really solid runs. There it is. Well done. Ooh, good save to the near post there. Can he find the 
Nice strike. Look at that. Good stuff. Offside. Yeah, I figured he was offside. Oh, couldn't time it properly. Get the ball. Yep. Oh, I try to get that accelerated touch there. Oh, so close, man. No, I should have done a roulette, man. Oh, dude, all those things you do and you just uh, marked, 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 marked the bus, marked. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams... Yeah, so again, I'm not hitting it on the green, but on a white, he's still looping it, which is good. Oh, sometimes you get the timing on those, like, last-second touches. Oh, the pace there was, like, weird. He, like, glitched there. Oh, splendid skill. Chiesa. Oh, come on. Ah, dude. Close. See, he's pretty fast, man. I'm gonna pass this ball off here. I'm gonna call him close just to cancel that attacking AI in general. I've shot. Oh man. Oh, get it back. Nope. Oh, I got blocked. It was a red, but he still hit it nicely. That one was good, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't going to be a goal. He takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind. He'll be onside, but he does know where the space is. Milinkovic Savage. It's opening up for them. Is it going to tap shot? Nice. I need it there. Just a tap shot. That's the pace part, right? So a card like this, if you're using in the side positions, because of the way that his average body type feels and stuff, like, that's fine, you know? Yeah, see? The pace at 99 is, uh, is very helpful for base card stats. Oh, hey, don't point at me, bro. Chill, hey, take it easy. Oh, I almost got it there. Ah, oh, it was a good strike. Well, it was a good strike, man. Oh, dude, I just got so much jam there with him. My goodness. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Chiesa Team of the Season Moments card. So, yo, EA, what, what gives with you guys and, like, pricing these cards the way that you do, man? Because here's the thing, guys, listen. It's like the Foden situation. Well, I wouldn't even say it's like the Foden situation because with Foden, right? Let me, just, let me just show you guys a few things here and there. So, 
like I said, I don't know what's up with these guys and pricing the SPCs the way that they do. Foden is a little bit different because, you know, five foot seven lean body type, high, high work rates while being explosive. I think that cards like that are just un insane to work with because you can use them in different positions. But it's just the price. You know, I'm looking at it from like the price perspective. I don't know what gives with this company pricing these SPCs the way that they do. Because, guys, listen, just because a card is overpriced does not mean that it is bad. People misinterpret that like crazy all the time they just think it's bad okay that's why i show you guys the gameplay highlights to show you how the card actually performs in game right similar situation to phil foden with foden it's a little bit different because the card as of right now he's pretty cool 650k is crazy okay no one's gonna convince me differently it's crazy but with an upgrade on top of what the card can perform like it's still a good card right like the chiesa the chiesa card is good but the price man i don't know what's up with these guys bro I don't get it. I don't know. Listen, at least give him like a five star skill move. You know what I'm saying? For 500 500k right now, for someone that has an average body type that has a noticeable average body type in game for a card that doesn't upgrade further than what he already is, at least give him the skill moves. You know what I'm saying? Because guys, even like Rafinha, Rafinha's card was the same thing, right? Because Rafinha, like I have the card, I like Rafinha. Rafinha is great, but he was 100k less. You know what I'm saying? While being left-footed, so that's even a bigger variable to work with because there's not that many like left-footed players. And I still use this card. You guys will see him in the new uh, uh, 4312 video that's like crazy to use on the attack. And look at the dislikes of this, but the card's nice. But I agree I agree with people from like the price perspective. I don't know like what gives with that. Um, regards to the price, I'm here to tell you guys how the card performs in game, okay? So for me personally, finisher, I didn't like the finisher on him, okay? I didn't, I didn't like making him an explosive player and it kind of makes sense for him, okay? Because... With Foden on explosive, it works with that lean body type, okay? With a card like Chiesa, it makes more sense to give him the marksman because it works more to his average body type, which is a noticeable average body type in game. But when you're an average body type, if you can increase the strength stats to work with the aggression, the pace, it's okay because a card like this, you are going to be mainly using in the side positions, right? That's the, It's a side position type card. In the cam position, you can use him there. You just have to be mindful of the left stick dribbling, right? It's like me. I use like Dimitri Payet sometimes in the cam position, but his left stick is rough to work with. It's always better to have players that will left stick a little bit quicker to kind of open up the space for the strikers and stuff. It's very important to work with. But with Chiesa, let's say for instance, I was playing like a 4-4-2 or in this new 4 one 2 2 that I showed you guys, he's being played as the attacking oriented center mid. On a marksman chemistry style, the card is solid to work with in game. The only main things that I noticed, right, was the average body type. Okay, the average body type is, is one of the main noticeable things, 100%. And that's pretty much it, right? Because the average body type does make him a little bit more physical oriented, but you can work around that. It's not a problem. It's not going to dribble like a like a Bernardo Silva or anything like that, right? It's, it's not going to be on the level of that, but... It's a cool card. It's just the price, man. I don't, I don't get what I don't get what's with these guys and pricing these SPCs the way that they do. It's insane. But yeah, if you uh, if you need the links, Juventus players, Italian players, uh, and you decide to use this card in the side positions like the four four two, four two three one, and stuff, he is good there. Like you could see that his pace works out great. His shooting for the most part works out great as well. You do have to green time your strikes for consistency to really hit the side positions, which you guys saw, right? I hit the one. I hit the one white time shot. It was. Complete miss on that one opportunity. That's a hard one to hit. And then there was another one where it hit more into the middle of the goal. You got to green them to hit the consistency to the left side. There was that one strike he hit like around outside the 18 yard box where he hit it on a green and that one came off great. So yeah, it was mainly just the average body type. That's the only thing that you notice on the card. But again, you don't care about that thing as much because you use him in the side positions and he is working with a really good pace and better physical stats on a marksman to be pretty nice to use the meta of the gameplay. The price of the card is just, I don't know. I don't know what's up with these guys, bro. Four star, four star. And they're just, it's weird. It's weird. Um, so guys, just remember, man, like, I'm just going to tell you guys this quickly before we go. Overpriced does not mean not good, okay? It's like Foden. If you think Man City's going to win, Foden's going to be a nice card on a Hunter. It works with the body type, high, high work rates, you know? It's just the price, man. I don't know. I don't know what's up with the price. I don't get it. But they're good cards. They're good cards, man. It is what it is. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.